The last album before this was uh, released in 2006, which is over three years ago. And uh, the reason why that is uh, taking so long for me to uh, do the second one is because of a lot of things, actually. first one is because I'm, I'm sort of a person who has lots of things uh, that I want to do in life. Like, I can't just settle with one thing uh, and just do it forever. And um, there's a lot of things that I wanted to achieve after I released uh, the, the last album. And I kind of like got carried away doing other things until um, about two years ago, I think, the, the band uh, got formed. Uh, before that, it was just me, Tika. And then um, after that, I got, I got tired of like changing partners on stage. And basically, the band, uh, I think they deserve something on, a, you know, something that's tangible for them to, um, you know, to bring to show to their grandchildren that they make music and so on and, and then that not that they're about to have grandchildren anytime soon but <laughs> <laughs> they're not that old but basically I, I wanted I wanted them to have something that they can hold on to like for, for the rest of their lives so uh, we started making songs and we started writing writing songs and we started recording and that also take another another two years to make so uh, it was because the, the band uh, are all full-time jobbers they uh, they have their day jobs and and I have my day job and you know it, we have to like kind of steal times in between our jobs to to um, record and besides that it's of course the uh, the budget factor <laughs> because uh, yeah this is um, we are releasing this independently thank you <laughs> we are releasing this independently this time not under uh, the last label that we were under so we have to stop every time we run out of money and just carry again but you know. Finally, it's coming to a, yeah, it's coming to an end, and it's, uh, it's almost almost done now. We're in the mastering process, and then after this, we're just gonna go ahead and release it in like a matter of days. Good, good. Um, talk about the people you have in your band now, oh. and um, how are this um, the song creation process? Does it start mostly with you and they fill in, or is it a more collaborative thing? Before this, it was just me and, and, and my head and then, then and then you know I, I kinda like I collaborated only with Agi, uh Narotama and Iman Fata and then uh Bendy from Sore helped a little bit and then uh, you know the last album only only uh, involved five people whereas this one involved twenty five people <laughs> in, in the process. So basically writing songs right now is about reducing a little bit of ego and then hearing what other people have and um, some of them are written jamming when we're in rehearsal. You know, maybe my bass player has a has an interesting chord, or, or my guitar player and whatnot. But sometimes it's just uh, I would record a vocal track, and then you know I have in my head this, this how I wanted this song to sound like. So I recorded my vocal track sometimes on my cell phone, or you know things pathetic like that, and just show it to them. And then this is how I want the, the bass to sound like, and. You know, they would they would try and accommodate that. So basically, the songwriting is just a process of both myself and then the band and then the producers of this album also, which are really really cool producers, Iman Fata and um, uh, Nikita Dombas. Um, <clears throat> I personally detected. Um, I, I've heard some of the uh, material that's coming out, going to be on your next album. Um, I did, I've detected a huge um, change. Um, you've gone more outward. Um, the songs, some of it um, seems to be most, uh, more about how you see the things around you instead of what's going on around you. But, um, and also, um, I personally detected a more 
angrier. You're angrier in this office. Uh, <laughs> which is good. Which is good. I mean, you're, um, in, in your first one, it was just, there was a lot of more, it felt like more repressed anger towards yourself and more, more melancholy and, but there's just so much more, um, vibrant rage, uh, in my opinion, um, in this album. And, um, would, it, would that be accurate? I mean, yeah, would, uh, totally. um, lyric wise, especially. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the first, the first album, the one before this, was, uh, it was a catharsis for what I was going through at the moment, and it was a hard time at the time, what I was um, facing in my life, and it sort of just took me away from uh, things that uh, I was passionate about, and, um, you know, it was all about me, 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 and my sadness, and my, and my you know, what you said, repressed emotions and all that, and the only thing I can do about it is just to write lyrics. Uh, pretty emo, you know, if you think of it. But, but this, this time, I've, uh, I hate to say this, but I've grown up. <laughs> I've grown a little bit, you know, I've, I've grown out of that, that phase. And um, thankfully, uh, started to see the things that I, you know, I was really passionate about first, which is, uh, you know, social issues and just uh, being sarcastic about the things that I see in my everyday life. and. And that's just what comes out is what I see, you know, what I hate about television, what I hate about the city, what I hate about, um, you know, hypocrisy and homophobia and all that. And, you know, just kind of write it down in a more explicit manner, whereas the first one was more implicit. And so it's nothing intentional. It's not intended to be. I want the second album to be. Uh, to be more political, nothing like that. It was just, yeah, it was, it, it's where I am right now. And if I were to release the next album, we'll see where that's going, you know, like uh, what I'm feeling at the moment. I mean, it's a, it's a, it could be a journal of my life. And at one point I was feeling, feeling a little bit emo. This one I'm a little angry and bitchy. And the next one, you know, maybe I'm a proud mother of a baby. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I like you angry and bitchy. I like you angry and bitchy very much. Now, Betty and Eddie think the closet is merry. The gals are butchy and the boys love Liberace, but it's getting full. Getting kinda of stuffy, the cat fights and the bully, the drama and hypocrisy. So they want to come out of the closet. Let the biggest judge who can tell who the closet cases really are. Larry knows Larry and they're all up to death.